welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to continue on our Telnet series and I'll show you how to block people from accessing Telnet on your router. So let's say we've got Telnet running on R3 and I've already pre-configured it. Just we'll do a show run to verify and you can see here that as I hit space down here line VTY04, password Cisco, and login, so Telnet is set up. So let's say we wanted to allow only someone coming from router 1's loopback to access Telnet on router 3. And then we're going to drop everyone else. Well the way we're going to do that is we're going to set up an access list and we could do access list 1 permit all 1's and then that's going to be it for the access list because it is going to deny everyone else. And then we're going to hook on this access list onto the VTY lines with the access class command. So let's see if we can do that. We'll bring in router 3, conf t, access list 1, do a question mark, we're going to permit the all ones and that's it for that access list. Just exit out of there, do a show access list to verify things. So you can see there, sequence number 10, permit all ones, conf t, go into our VTY configuration, line VTY04, and the command is simply access class 1, and in, access class 1 in, hit enter right there, and let's test it out. We'll go over to router 2, and as we try to tell it in with router 2, we should be rejected. So telnet all threes, and you can see there telnet all threes connection re refused by remote host, so that's good. That's exactly what we wanted. And if we go to R1 and we try to tell it in, telnet all threes you can see here that we are also being refused by the remote host. The reason we are being refused is that when I try to telnet without any modifier, without a source interface, I'm actually telnetting from FAST00, which is the IP address of 10.10.12.1, and our access list is definitely blocking it. So what we need to do is actually telnet all threes, space hit a question mark there and you could see we have a modifier we could put in slash source interface and that lets us specify an interface so you could simply type in slash source and hit tab and you can get the rest of the command there and then loop back zero so you're actually going to tell net from this address of all ones we'll hit enter right there and as you can see we can successfully get in I type in Cisco everything's great enable type in Cisco again and I am into the router so just to sum up pretty easy way of doing this all you have to do is set up an access list a standard access list in this case that permits the address that you want and then you have to hook it onto the VTY lines by doing the access class command and you can see here it's line VTY04 access class 1 in and that's all there is to it to secure your telnet lines now in real life your access list right here so you're permitting this IP address you would probably permit other IP addresses you would permit a range uh, it would kind of get tedious to permit IP addresses by themselves so you would permit things like the 10 range or if you have an administrator VLAN then you would permit the range on that VLAN. Many different ways of doing it but this is the simplest way and the quickest way of securing your telnet lines. Thanks for watching.